Hello YouTubers. I wanted to show you my brand new Interplex Y1200 solar generator. As everyone knows, this is really a big battery storage device, but it can be charged via the ports here and the Anderson port there. Um, I wanted to show something. I'm going to probably be returning this unit um, for two reasons. I don't know if this particular unit is defective or if uh, Interplex has not worked out all the bugs. But I'm going to see if I can replicate one of the failures here. Okay. Well, I can't replicate the first one. The, the first failure on a cold start, this fan noise that you hear is super, super loud for about 15, 20 seconds until the fan warms up. I've been told there's two fans. It's possible one fan is broken. I'm not sure. The other reason is you see the battery charge there. Um, here's how you turn off the device. You can't turn it off when it's being charged, but when you remove the charge, you can turn it off and you turn it back on and you see how when I turned it off it was one bar and blinking on the second and now it's two bars what's happening is when I when I turn off at night completely off when you power it off and then you power it on the next morning I'm losing sometimes between one and three bars of power so I don't know if the display is defective. I can't really demonstrate it here right now or if the battery is losing charge. So uh, you can power. This is it's got 1200 uh, watts of power and of course you can fully discharge it below 50% uh, which you shouldn't do more than that on a lead acid battery but you can fully discharge this to you know uh, down to 10 15 percent and still be safe with it um, and so here's my generator uh, interplex y1200 it's only 40 pounds um, <clears throat> I could say a, a normal adult can easily lift that whereas the competing device the Yeti 1250 is 106 pounds this is 40 pounds and uh, it's it's much more portable I can take this with me I can uh, take this out to my shed and charge it up via a 12 volt uh, Anderson uh, pull port, <coughs> um, either either through uh, this cable here, through 12 volt, or or I with my solar panels. And uh, Interplex doesn't sell a uh, MC4 to uh, Anderson pull cable. But I was able to find it online. If I can find the link, I'll, I'll include it in this uh, YouTube post. Uh, but there is a manufacturer out there for it. And if you have uh, uh, solar panels other than uh, Interplex ones, you can still connect it uh, with, via the Anderson uh, uh, port here. And, um, and the cable in the link I'm going to show you uh, has these... Anderson poles kind of turn so all you got to do these Andersons slip, slip out of each other and and turn it sideways and, and it'll, it'll work perfectly uh, so I'll, I'll put that in a link to the YouTube video